Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, we're going to do another regular arena run, go through it fast, and tough part is toss up between Paladin and Druid, because I've done Hunter more recently. These two were almost the same amount of time ago, but I'm going to do Druid. I'm just protect the last time I did it was, I was trying to do one of those basic videos. So let's just blow through it as normal. It's bad, bad, good. That's an easy choice. Naturalize? Nah, I, I know it can blow up something really bad, but you know what? I'm just going to fight something really bad. Bonus rare. Mana Addict, I don't know if I have the spells, but Sunwalker, I know I'll have the sun. Uh, Soul of the Forest is a friggin' weird card, so I'm going to take... Hmm, actually, out of these, uh, Shield Bearer, I don't know if I'm going to have stuff to buff him. Ghost Rider Footman is pretty weak sauce. Really? This thing? Like, really? I don't know. No, I guess I'll try it out. It's the arena, you know, why not? Oh, really? What the really, what the really, what the really? No, Cult Master, why not? No, not naturalized. Give me, oh, it's gonna give me naturalized like five times now. If every one of these naturalizes was a wrath, my deck would be awesome, but they're all going to be naturalized. It's going to be crap. Moonfire? Really? Like, maybe with him it'd be okay, but no, it's got to innervate. We'll see what we can do. Uh, swipe. Swipe is... Very few cards can defeat Swipe, especially since it's a common card. Like, that, not much is being swiped. Okay. I need some more, like, early gamey stuff, and he would go well with my stupidity of the forest, so let's try that. I so never get to play with these guys, because I don't have them for my constructed decks, so he's a must. If I was more serious about playing through it, I would just craft them, but... Um... I choose you. And... Garbage. Garbage, you. Seven naturalizes I'm going to have, like... Um, no, I took Druid of the Claw. Druid of the Claw is awesome. Give me lots of Druids of the Claw and lots of swipes and no friggin' naturalizes. Excuse me. Um, uh, Doctor. I've got a lot of battle cries already. Brewmaster could be pretty good. On the other hand, Earth and Ring Farseer, like that three hit points makes a big difference sometimes. And the Abusive Sergeant lets you, like, kill junk with. Junk. It's, ah, these are all good cards, and it's making it, it's slowing down my speed of choosing. I'll take the Brewmaster. Whatever. I've got a million battle cries already. Um, you're interesting. I don't have any damage spells yet because it keeps. Well, I've got Swipe, and Swipe's amazing, and spell damage Swipe is even more amazing. But no, I don't think I need that. No secrets. Uh, we'll take the Cobra. Cobra can kill bad things. Now you give me a Wrath, and it's got to compete with the Iron Bark Protector. Bastard! Freaking! I would like to have that wrath, but I need—I don't have the real fat yet, and he's gonna help. Claw would be maybe good early game. I mean, I always have to remember you can do it the one mana or the three mana claw, right? Because if you use, if you use it with shapeshift, it's three mana for three armor and three attack, so you can kill decent stuff with that. But druid the claw is a druid of the claw. It's claw and a druid. Uh. Spellbreaker? I mean, this guy's awesome. I'm gonna take this guy. Whatever. Just choosing fast. Wrath. I need the wrath. More, more wrath. Um, you... I don't think I'm gonna have that many spells for you. I mean, it's cool to innervate and then do something with her out, but uh, I think Crazed Alchemist might be more useful for me. I could have had a lot of, like... I could have totally decked my opponent. If I'd taken every naturalized and every stupid card draw Murloc, I could have actually, like blown someone up with cards. But the problem is, even blowing them up with cards, like, that's ten cards worth of drawing. I still have to play through twenty cards worth of game to get to that point, just to get them to take one damage from fatigue. It's not a safe option by any means. Um, you would be good... You would be good... I think I have to take the Savage War and have at least one. If I got the same exact choice again, I would probably take a different card every time. Swipe. Swipe beats everything. Uh, you beat nothing. Bite versus Sun Fury Protector. Uh, Sun Fury Protector is good, but my fattest things are already taunt. I mean, yeah, Boulder Fist and these guys. I do have a lot of 
things that make multiple minions, but I think I'm better off having a bite to kill something. Ah. Oh. I've got lots of little tokens and stuff I could give Taunt to. I could give Taunt to Emperor Cobra. Oh, man. The, the freaking kissing. I don't know. I'm going to take Bite. I'm sure it's the wrong choice in that. I, I don't know. I just feel like I should not turn down the killing. Uh, speaking of killing, you... Um... Boy, you you can kill things pretty good. I'm wondering about this. Ah, uh, no, we'll take surprise damage. I have a lot of slow stuff, and you are also kind of slow. Is is there any value to healing touch? I see people play them, and I mean, it's eight health for one card. That's a lot of stalling, right? But it's only good if you. There are limited circumstances where it's good, but it's mostly not good. I don't, no, I don't, I don't like it. Tough. I, I'm just gonna stick with my philosophy of not taking a card that just heals you. That's this. It's borderline. I mean, that's the most healing you're gonna get for one card, pretty much. But get, come back when it's like heal five and draw a card, like the warrior one. That that would be okay. Um, I'd like to take him, but I really need to take one of these guys because I have not enough fast stuff. So Berserker is. This is a hard choice. These guys are all, like, smashy, and early game taunt would be useful. It's, like, not bad efficiency. And then the Innervate would help me play some of this crazy late game junk earlier. But it's negative card drawing. But I have, like, I have one Cult Master. I thought I took two Cult Masters. I'm just remember There was something really good with the other Cult Master. I didn't take him. Do I want two interfaces in here? Because there's more chance that I can do something like an early Druid of the Claw or an early Iron Bark or whatever. And that stuff is crazy. But on the other hand, just having more meat in the deck. Like, I don't like spending too many cards on the Innervate because the Innervate does nothing. It's like a crazy trick and it can backfire if they just kill your thing. You can go Super Saiyan and kill someone. You can protect stuff. I mean, if I had both of them, it'd work better because I don't have a lot to protect him. But I'm going to take the Flesh Eating Ghoul anyway. Against my better judgment. Get another one, Stranglethorn Tiger, but I feel like I have that fatness covered. I don't want to make the same mistake as my Warlock deck. I'm going to take the Brewmaster. Okay, Savagery is damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion. That is a stupid card in this deck. I mean, if I was playing with both claws, two claws, two bites, then this would maybe be good, but that's that's a lot of messing around. You can't really beat the Keeper of the Grove. Although I've got so many things, like the token minions might actually be good with... Uh, I've got a few things going on. I've got the Cult Master, and I've got the uh, the Roar, but no, it, it, Keeper of the Grove is a must. I have two copies each of a lot of cards that might fit in an actual, like, Druid Constructed deck. That is including some rare, so that's very interesting, and let's see what happens. I don't have this deck fully in my head yet, but my initial impression is, eh, that's pretty good. We're going to find out, though. I feel like I got some early game picks to try and balance out some of this stuff. Like, I've got a lot of mid-game strength. In the, like, the mana curve looks like I have a lot of mid-game strength. A lot of it is swipes and stuff like that. Like, a lot of my 3 and 4 cost cards are, like, killing stuff and not actual things. But, yeah, you're late game. I guess I'm keeping you, then, by process of elimination. Roop, roop. Boo. I need minions in this hand. Aw, oh, damn you! Okay, kiss my ass. When I throw away a card in the mulligan, stop always giving it to me as my first or second draw. Because it's like, always. Oh, this is a horrible slow start. Goddamn. I guess I can blow up whatever crap she plays, probably. If she plays crap that I can't blow up, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> Maybe she had a Defias and a backstab in her hand and she's pissed off I don't have any minions to backstab. I don't know. I don't think she's too worried about it, though. She's probably happy that I'm going super ultra mega slow. So if I play him, he does 3 damage and then gets killed. It doesn't really do me a lot of good. But if I play this, it does nothing. No, whatever. 
Here, let's have a gentleman's agreement to not use any cards. We will just fight it out with our abilities and let the best man win. And it would be a man because in a battle of just our abilities with nothing else modifying in them and no other circumstances, I win guaranteed. But that's not how it goes. But I don't have anything good to do with this stuff. I think I'm. I think at this point I'm gonna kung fu him so I can wrath him to draw like the card draw version, because that's how crazy this crap is. For the wild. Actually, I should wrath him first. See if I do something better than just killing him, because I, I always forget that the card draw version of wrath is not mortal coil. It doesn't care. Like you, you just get the card. Yeah, it wouldn't have made any difference, but. I always, it always in my head, even though I should, if I think about it, I know that, no, you don't have to kill the minion. But when I'm just playing, I don't think about the aspect of the card. It's just, deal one damage, draw a card, whereas Mortal Coil, it has to be the killing blow. Okay, so I could kill him this way, that would be dumb, like charging him. This way, that would be a waste, because this could kill lots of stuff. Him is not good. I have to kung fu. That's stupid. So it looks like it's going to be a bite. What to do? This game is ridiculous that we can't play anything. Can't or won't. But I mean, I don't want to just play this guy to heal no health and then get killed by a dagger. What what good does that do me? It's going to get real very soon, though. Because if you don't do something friggin' impressive, I'm dropping an ogre. That's not it. You're just trying to draw something decent. This game's gonna get psycho, though. She has a million cards, I have a million cards. We're gonna do crazy stuff soon. Nope, mine's crazier. There's gonna be crazy stuff going on in this game. So I'm sure you can actually handle this... <coughs> somehow, but it's going to take more than just the Yeti. You're going to have to use some kind of card. That assassinate would be a good choice. Get in there and fight, maggot! Aw, oh, that sucks. Wait, that's not enough. My instinct when I hear that is like, aw, oh, my thing's going to die. Doesn't appear to be the case. Shield up! Okay. And what, what now? Ah, there we go. There had to be some way that this guy was just trading. Right? right? He's thinking about it. He's thinking, oh, I've got taunt, man. I could just, like, uh, make the ogre come to me. But that plus two is temporary. Wow, interesting. Okay. Wow, interesting. As they say. So I can go Crazed Alchemist, turn him into a 5 4, then swipe, kill him and him, and do one damage to her, and then continue the beatings. I can also heal this guy or myself with him. Pretty decent. Yeah. I think that's good. Hmm. You love my new recipe. He's not gonna love my new recipe. I'm sorry. He is not. Reviews are not even mixed. I'm gonna heal him. Healing myself would be nice. But anything but an assassinate is going to have a hard time against seven hit points, whereas I, I feel like he, she can more easily scrape together five damage. She already has two here. No. I just thought it was, I thought she backstabbed him, and I thought it was funny that my healing him enabled him to be backstabbed. Which it did. But then again, this guy ate a backstab that way. And cool bud, okay. You were very angry and you successfully killed him, but I have a lot of cards left. What? 
What part of your plan is not killing him? You're insane! No, you're insane! To leave him alive! You're nuts! You are a raving loon! Being loony tunes. Like, oh, you are nuts, man. You are so nuts. I'm tempted to do this and end Soul of the Forest, but I still find this card stupid, so I probably won't. Instead, I'm going to do this anyway. What a surprise! I found a way to kill a creature with two toughness. It was such a barrier to my getting through. And now, meanwhile, taunt. Now you have two giant monsters. Why would you not kill it? You used the cold blood! Why would you play the cold blood if you were not going to use her to kill him? Like, your plan was to bounce her. That makes putting the cold blood on her idiotic. Like, mind-bogglingly dumb. The, the cold blood made total sense if she was going to trade and kill him. And then you could play your bounce guy alone, and you wouldn't have to bounce anything, and that should be fine with you. But no, you're kind of insane. Are you dead? Yes, you were very, very dead. So incredibly, astoundingly mega dead. What were you doing? I don't really feel like she was going to win that game anyway, but... Kill the ogre! She had so many chances to kill the ogre. Well, I think things are going to be a little bit less easy breezy for me next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.